Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to resample a uh, image to fit inside a video. Uh, right now this image is 38 88 by 2592 pixel, which is going to be quite large for a video. Now, if I were to save this, just save it as a JPEG, for example, desktop, and kind of over here, I'll we'll call this too big, and hit. Uh, Save. Uh, full quality baseline. And go ahead and pull that one into uh, mirror and drop that onto my timeline. You can see that it's way too big for my timeline uh, for my dimensions, which are HD here. Now, if I were to shrink this down so that it would fit more or less in the frame, uh, you might start to get uh, jagged edges, only depending on uh, what you're working with. So the best thing to do is, um, I'm just going to delete that out, delete that out. And uh, I'm going to resample this image um, using the crop tool. So uh, I grab my crop tool, and now I've already done this before, so my settings are already set to 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. Now you got to be careful uh, when you do this because a lot of times it will default to inches, uh, 4 by 3. Now that is inches, and if I do that, it's going to be the wrong size. So what you need to do is Either if you have a preset like I do, if you don't, you can just type in 1920 PX, tab over, by 1080 space PX, <laughs> tab, and then it will give you the right dimensions. Um, and if I go ahead and hit the check mark now, it has size it down, and if I go into image, image size, you see that it is a 1920 by 1080, but it is still at 300 pixels per inch uh, here in my image size dialog box. Uh, this is normally looking at one third size here, so if I zoom and hit uh, actual pixels, you can see that that is the actual pixel size. Now we're at 100%. So now what I'm going to do is save this one as, um, I can even save it as a PSD, it doesn't matter, I'll just call the right size, 300px, um, layers, and then embed color profile, um, if you don't necessarily need that as pro photo, actually a better thing to do at this point is file, save for web, um, save it as a JP, JPG with 100% quality, 1920 by 1080, 100% by cubic sharper, it doesn't matter because I'm not resizing it. Hit save, and we'll just go to the right size, 300px, and save. And then over here in uh, Premiere, I'll import that photo. And then it will be, when I drop it into the viewer, it will be the right size um, and the right pixel dimensions. Now just keep in mind, if you're going to be zooming in, looking at it really close, you're going to see pixels. Now, this is at 400%. And in your video, people aren't going to zoom in to 400%. They're only ever going to see it at 100%. So you should be good. Now, another way to do that, um, I'm going to back all the way up to my original image here with my history tool and um, zoom out. So now, once again we are back to the original image size 300 um, ppi 388 by 2592. Uh, the other way to do this is you can actually change the dimensions in here 
Um, and since we're going down, we want to go for bicubic sharper in this setting. We want these all three checked. I'm going to change this to 1280, or excuse me, 1920 by 1280. And you'll see that it, it uh, maintains a resolution of 300. Now, if I were to change this to 600, you'd see that this would go back up to the number it was before, twice as high as it was when this was 300. Same thing as if I brought this down to, say, 100. Okay, you're going to get a, a third of the resolution. So, you can change this without changing the resolution. But you can't change the resolution without changing the pixel dimension, so you have to do it in reverse order. So I'm going to go to 300 uh, PPI and then 1920 by 1280, and then hit OK. Um, now you can see that it got smaller, but that's because we're only looking at now a third. Uh, a third. If I look at actual pixel, actual pixels, there it is. Um, now if I go to save for web here, I'm going to save this one. Um, I'll just call this right size 2. Save that, and then go back into Premiere, import that one, <clears throat> over here, and uh, let's make this fit, and you can see that fits in as well, and uh, zooming in to 200%, uh, we're starting to get a little bit of visual pixelation, but not too bad. But that's basically how you resample an image um, down in size while keeping the resolution high so that uh, you don't get the jaggies when you come in here and resize a picture.